Zombie Royale. We know for certain that Zombie Royale, which as you might have guessed is Battle Royale with zombies, is coming to the game soon. Based on the leaked audio files, we have a pretty good idea of what the game mode will look like too. Just like normal Battle Royale, you'll be split up into teams with a small handful of other players. When a player dies, they'll turn into a zombie, but they'll still be able to attack enemies with their zombie power. There'll be several ways for you to bring your zombified teammates back from the dead. The last team with human survivors will win, and there will be a helicopter extraction phase towards the end of each game as well. So while we we originally thought Zombie Royale will be like Battle Royale with NPC zombies. It looks like the zombies will be controlled by defeated players instead. This all probably sounds familiar to you if you've played Infection or Pandemic modes in past Call of Duty games. 4. Zombies the zombies will have their own set of abilities, but it's unclear what exactly that will include just yet. Based on the leaked audio files, we do know that the zombies can survive the gas. Not only that, but zombies become even stronger in the gas, giving you an even better reason to rush towards the next circle. Like zombies modes in previous Call of Duty games, the zombies will be most vulnerable to a headshot, and will likely survive if you aim for any other part of the bot. Blow a zombie's legs off, they're probably still going to come crawling after you. Players will turn into zombies when they die, and in typical zombie fashion, you'll be able to inject other players in the game by killing them. If you die as a zombie though, you'll need to wait to be resurrected by your teammates. There's actually a few different ways for zombies to become humans again too. Number 3. Humans You'll start Zombie Royale off as a human. Just like every other zombie-based game, your job will be to kill zombies and avoid turning into one yourself. To win the game, you're going to need to have at least one surviving human left on your team for the helicopter extraction. If most of your teammates have become zombies, there's actually a few ways for them to reverse the zombie curse. Human players can resurrect zombified teammates, but if zombies eat enough remains of enemy players, they'll turn human again. Not exactly in line with zombie lore, but hey, we'll let it slide. Number 2. Extraction an extraction phase was mentioned in Warzone's leaked Zombie Royale, and we haven't received a ton of details. We do know for certain that extraction will happen towards the end of the game, and it will most likely be the way to win. You also need to be a human player to call an extraction, meaning zombified teams will have to accept a loss. It even sounds like zombie players will be able to stop an extraction as well, and there are audio files that indicate the possibility of causing the extraction helicopter to crash. The extraction helicopter will be your key to escaping a zombie-filled Verdansk in Call of Duty Warzone, so make sure to keep that in mind when the mode rolls around on the 20th. Number 1. Black Ops Cold War not only are zombies coming to Warzone, but they're confirmed to be heading to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War as well. Cold War's Zombies mode will look more like the classic version that we've seen in games of the past, but it looks like the series will use next-gen technology to take things to a whole new level. We do know that Warzone will be included in Cold War as well, so there's a pretty good chance that we'll see a Zombies Royale mode in the game even after this upcoming Halloween season. After all, zombies are an iconic aspect of the Black Ops series, so it only makes sense that a Black Ops version of Warzone will feature a zombie Royale playlist from time to time. One thing definitely is for certain, and that's the fact that Call of Duty fans can expect plenty of zombie content in the near future.